فشر يحاكو لكم أمتي يريد الفناء ما رب السماء فيا أمتي أمسك واسمعوا فجل الأمور بدت في خفاء قنابلهم كالسموم تداوم فما من صدوق وما من بخاء فشر يحاكو لكم أمتي يريد الفناء فيا أمتي أمسك واسمعوا فجل الأمور بدت في خفاء قنابلهم كالسموم تداوم فما من صدوق وما من إخاء وما من إخاء It's Friday, 4 to 5, we are here to discuss Islam, mashallah. And today, we are going to talk about the newly amended UMS Constitution. We are going to, to, to look at it in a, in a broad way. We are going to, to, to discuss it with uh, one of the instrumental person who has been there through the process, Sheikh Qasim Kamgisha. He has been the spokesperson for the review committee. Currently, he's a deputy RCC Nakawa. He's a council, he's a sheikh. Mashallah, you're going to have a good discussion about this newly amended constitution. First of all, we are going to ask ourselves, why did they amend this constitution? Was it necessary? Those are the questions they're going to get answered for. We shall look at the impact of the newly amended constitution. Now, then we shall look at those silent sectors which were not mentioned to in the previous constitution. Council, say salam to our viewers. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Naam. Wal aqibatu li... Thumma wa salatu wa salam ala man la nabiya ba'dahu Muhammad ibn Abdullahi salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear viewers. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. Mashallah, mashallah. And a pleasure meeting one of my good friends. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. Ashid. Naam. And... I don't take this for granted. Mashallah. It's an opportunity okay. to share with the whole country okay. and the whole world in building and adding a value okay. to our religion, Islam. Okay. Council, someone is out there asking who is Council Kasim Kamgisha. Of recent, you're the deputy RCC. Of recent, you're a spokesperson, a review committee. Can I get more of you? Uh, the, the, the question is quite uh, technical, mm. but I think I will give it uh, uh, a simple answer. Okay. Uh, yeah, calling me counsel, you are right. Okay. Uh, because uh, I have uh, a bachelor's of uh, law. But also, I hold a bachelor's of uh, Islamic law and Sharia Mashallah. from the Grand University of uh, Medina, wow, Islamic wow. University and Medina Timnawara. Uh, I'm a teacher by training okay. from Chambogu University. That was my first qualification. Wow, wow. And currently, I'm pursuing a PhD in management. Soon you're going to be a doctor. Inshallah. Ma, ma. And uh, by God's grace, uh, the head of state of Uganda okay. of recent mm. uh, picked me among the many okay. and gave me an assignment. Okay. Districts or divisions in Kampala. Okay. And that is Nakawa. So currently I'm the deputy RCC okay. for Nakawa. Okay. Uh, I'm married, I have a family. 
And then I want to look at you at UMSC. Where do you fall? Uh, I'm uh, a Muslim, Aharusuna or Jama. Okay. And uh, uh, I subscribe to the community of Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. And uh, in terms of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council, I believe it is the umbrella of the Muslim leadership in Uganda. Okay. Uh, and, and recently, I was given trust okay. as one of the few members, the 21 members, to review the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council Constitution. Okay. And when I was, when I got Actually, I liked that so much because we are going to send, uh, we, we, our discussion is going to center on that. So when I, when I, when I reached into the commission, mm -hmm. all the members entrusted me mm -hmm. to be the spokesperson commission. Okay. And I, I think in, in Feb, around mm. 18th Feb, mm -hmm. uh, the whole country saw us at Uganda Media Center when mm. we were unveiling okay. the roadmap and the whole program okay. on how to Muslims mm -hmm. that could form the basis of the new reviewed constitution of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Okay. Uh, so we... we how are the task? L l like, like any other national task, mm -hmm. I want to state that it was uh, quite challenging mm -hmm. uh, because one, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have where to benchmark in terms mm -hmm. of our own documentation. From documentation, yes. For, for the people who did this work prior, that mm -hmm. is 1972 and 1986. Mm -hmm. uh, no document? Uh, these people had, uh, we didn't have a report. Mm -hmm. of these two constitutions. Okay. And you know, a report is like a handset true, of true. parliament. You always go back and you always go back mm. and see how was this article developed? Mm. How was this point developed? Okay. What informed this position okay. in the discussions? Okay. So one of the challenges we faced was we didn't have a reference to such reports. Okay. I can assure you that even in, in the archives mm. of our nation, we okay. could not. In Makerere, we tried, we couldn't. Supreme okay. Council, we couldn't. Yeah, no. So, the first task was to develop our own terms of reference. Mm -hmm. and, and I want you to draw a picture in your mind. Yes. You're getting something come from, from, from the from scratch. scratch. Mm. What we only had was the copy of the 1972 Constitution. Constitution, yes. They amended the copy of 1982 because there was a mild amendment in mm -hmm. 1982. Mm. And then the, uh, the, the then current constitution. Okay. When I say the then, the then yes. Uh, because I'm meant to understand that recently mm -hmm. our draft was adopted, adopted as yes, the new constitution of Uganda Muslim Supreme mm -hmm. Council. So we only had three uh, uh, documents oh. that we had to refer to. And now draw the picture mm -hmm. and see what we went through. But Alhamdulillah, At the end of the day, you came up with something? At the end of the day, mm. the, the, the Muslims in the country mm. and other stakeholders gave us their view gave us their guidance. We picked from other concerns in the world. Okay. And alhamdulillah, here we are. We now have uh, a legal document okay. that can provide guidance in terms of managing the affairs of Muslims okay. in Uganda today. The newly amended constitution. Can yes. I call it newly amended or? Uh, may I would call it a reviewed constitution. A reviewed because constitution. Because you see, an amendment mm. in legal language mm. Is about touching one article. Something, then you change a few. One article of the concern, or two, three. So it but is a newly reviewed. We were doing an overhaul. Oh, okay. It was an overhaul of the whole concern of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Okay. So uh, uh, the General Assembly might have adopted, amended, mm -hmm. but in my view, it's uh, a reviewed constitution of okay. the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Uh, uh, does this constitution reflect the views for all Muslims around the country? Yeah, without doubt, uh, this constitution is, uh, 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 is uh, organic mm -hmm. because prior, to, uh, prior to, 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 if I can refer to 1972. Okay, okay. In 1972, a few, mm -hmm. a few Muslims, mm -hmm. because I was meant to understand that each district. Okay. And when you talk about a district, for mm. example, Kigezi, where yes. I come from, mm. 
it was the whole of Kigezi. It was one district. Oh. Three people represented the whole of Kigezi. Mm, and the criteria to choose them was not clear. Mm, mm. So from each district then, mm. three members were picked by the state. Mm. Not even by the Supreme Council structure. It was the government of the late Idi Amin. Oh, by then, yes. They were picked and mm. taken to Kigezi College of Tovere in Kabale. They were locked in a room. That is Kabale? Yes. Hey, yeah, hey. They were locked in a room. Mm. And they were told that you cannot get out of here. You come out when everything is done. <laughs> Unless you have a constitution. <laughs> True. Because the conflicts of Muslims by mm. then, mm. from what we read in history, mm. were warring. True. People were scattered. Mm. People had no umbrella in terms of leadership. Mm. And mm. so it was paramount that you come up with something, come up which, with is something which can be referred to mm. uh, when managing affairs of Muslims. Okay. So... Uh, by then, it was a few people who were locked in a room, mm. and they, came they came up with something. Mm. In 1982, the same case. Mm. In 1986, so mm. actually, the constitution was as a result of the Mecca agreement, which was oh. made in Mecca. Oh, they went to Mecca, then they came up they with an agreement. They went to Mecca, came with an agreement. Then they. Then it, 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 it matured into a constitution. The basis of a constitution. Mm. But this time, we said no. Mm. The Uganda Muslims. Ahrusuna wal Jama. They have us. They must have us. Have got a stake in their affairs. Okay. And therefore, if their affairs ha have to be democratically governed, mm -hmm. then they must have an input in the document okay. that shall uh, manage their affairs. Okay. And so we came up with a strategy and said, okay, how do we do it? Mm -hmm. uh, we clustered ourselves into five teams. Oh. Then you dispatched. Now these team. five teams. All of them at once mm. had to do Kampala. Kampala all of you had to do all Kampala? All of us had to do Kampala. Because you see What's so special with Kampala? Well, Kampala is the capital city of Uganda. Oh, okay. Kampala is the administrative seat of Uganda. Mm. Kampala has got the cream, the cream oh, okay. of, the in, of, of the intellectual class mm. of mm. our country. Mm. So mm. therefore, it was paramount that we... We all do Kampala, Kampala, then you... Then we see mm. what is the reaction in Kampala. What are the guiding... Uh, answers in Kampala. Mm, mm. What should we modify within mm, our, mm, mm. our... So history? Kampala was sampled to, to see where you, you're heading to? There is no way you can sample Karamoja in terms of Muslim affairs. Oh. You have to sample Kampala because okay. Kampala mm. is, a, is a nucleus mm, mm, of mm, Islam mm. in Uganda. So mm. Kampala gave us a basis. Mm. Then after Kampala, we had now to structure ourselves into four groups. Okay, okay. So one group had to do... West Nile, mm, Munyoro mm, Toro. Mm, mm, mm. And that's the group which I was heading. Okay. I was heading a group which had, uh, we were five people. Okay. Myself, Sheikh Kasim Kamudisha, we had the former SG Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Mm, that is Kavuma, had, Sheikh Sheikh Kavuma. Haji Biekwaso. Oh, Haji Biekwaso. Yes, Sheikh Yusuf Biekwaso. Mm. We had uh, Jagenda. Okay. We had uh, uh, Muzei Doka Mudathir. Okay from West Nile. Mm. So it was a formidable team. Okay, okay. Uh, we did West Nile, mm. then we did the Bunyoro Toro. Wow. Then the second team had to do Ankole Kigezi, Kigezi yes. then West Uganda. Okay. Then the third team had to do East Uganda and Busoga. Okay. Then the fourth team had to do Extreme East, mm -hmm. which in, starts from uh, Busia mm -hmm. to Karamoja, okay. then Northern Uganda, which has Acholi and Lango. Okay. The process was tedious. I know, because I can see it's, it's a big, big It task. was tedious mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it involved uh, uh, movements. True. It involved engaging, mm -hmm. but also it, in, it involved writing, writing and capturing using other data. missiles. Mm -hmm. So we had to move mm -hmm. swiftly but steadily. Mashallah. And on this note, I want to thank the state because mm -hmm. the government of Uganda mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, was, was very generous. It provided us with security cover in our movements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the entire st structure was structure. aware of oh. our movements. Okay. And that is why you didn't hear any collision yeah. between the teams which were on the was ground most, mm, and the state. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, we were provided with media cover. All state were instructed to give us platform to talk to people. Wow. In that we do prior mobilization, but mm. also we inform the population okay. of what we are doing in the areas. Okay. So uh, 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 the, the, the whole process mm. was, uh, was tedious, but there, there was uh, 
there was uh, concerted efforts. Uh, what, what were the, f the, the time frame for that? Uh, we, we, of course, the time frame was, was, was based on when the structures of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council would expire. Because mm. we had that in mind. Oh, you had the, 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 the expiration yes, date. Yes, we knew that at this particular by 14th, point, by 14th of August. Every, everything must... I mean, 14th of, uh, of, uh, of July. Of July. You must, res we must have, resolve. We must have moved the whole... Between Feb mm. and 14th July, we knew we must have moved the whole country, captured the data, processed the data, came up with a document, mm. discussed by the General Assembly, into an, uh, a constitution. What were there on 14th July? 14th was, uh, uh, 14th was uh, the, the... Because you said the, it must be between Feb and 14th, you must finish everything. Exactly, because you see on 14th July, mm. that is this month, yes. that is when the structures of VMS expired. Oh, so you had to, to work to, to do everything yeah, within because, the time frame. Because you know prior, mm. there had been an extension, mm. and you can't do an extension within an extension. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because we would have had elections five years ago. Okay. But there was an extension which was provided for by the law. Oh. But now you could not have an extension and then an extension. So okay. we are sure that 14th we expired. Mm. But now what and do we... It must be adopted by 14th. By 14th. Okay. And, and I, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. because we were able to execute our mandate in the given time. Okay. And that is why by, by, by 13th. Okay. We had a new constitution and for this, here we so are. right now we have a new constitution without doubt the muslims have got uh, a new constitution and everything that will be done in these other years which we don't know by the way mm. because the former constitution mm. which we are talking about had served for 36, 36 years, years since 1996 up mm. to date mm. Mm. now for this one we cannot know how long it will serve <laughs> it can serve for 40 years okay so we have a new constitution which will serve a time which we don't, we don't know. know. You're still watching UBC program Inside Islam, and I'm with Sheikh Kasim Kamugisha. Kamugisha. He's a counsel taking us through the process of the amending UMS Constitution. Mashallah. Was it necessary? You see, that question, f from a layman's perspective, the answer will be it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. But from an intellectual point of view, mm -hmm. uh, this was, it was, we are even late. Why? You see, 36 years okay. is not a short time. Mm -hmm. Very many things happen. Uh, yes. Very many events take place mm -hmm. which require, uh, which require al realignment. Mm -hmm. I will give an example. Okay. By 1986, uh, a new government came in power. Yes. By 1995, that government adopted the constitution. True. But between 1995 up to date, very many amendments have taken have been, place. Yeah, have taken place, yes. Meaning that time will always create gaps that have yes. to be occupied. occupied yes. Now, one of the gaps which had been created by the 1986 Constitution of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council mm. was it had not, in its structure, it okay. had not provided for special interest groups. It was silent? Not even, it, wa it had not provided oh. for special interest groups. And here I mean mm -hmm. women, Youth, youth, the PWDs. The PWDs, people with disabilities. But remember, the grand norm, the grand law of our country, is the Constitution of Uganda, nineteen ninety-five, mm. and it provides for the special interest groups. Do you know why? Because Uganda is a democratic country. Okay. okay. And democracy should not be just talked; it Talk. should be seen, seen and practiced. Be practiced. Mm. Mm. So the concern had not provided for the special interest groups, and it was important then to provide for this structure. So because had, mm. women form the foundation I know. Yes. Of, this, of, of, of every structure. True. They are the mothers. But also in Islam, mm, mm, mm. women were very instrumental. Look at Aisha radiallahu anha. In my view, as an Islamic scholar, mm. she's a professor. Because if you are looking at the first three, four 
Okay. Among three of the hadith, mm -hmm. those who have got the many numbers of hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, she's one of them. That means women are very instrumental. You can't leave them behind. True, true. Now true. look at, look at, at uh, Malika to Baliqis, the, the queen of, uh, of Sheba. Mm -hmm. She was a queen. She, yes. was, she was having a dynasty which she was, she was leading. Mm, leading, yes. And you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, concurs with her decision when, when, when Suleiman called her into her palace. Okay. Allah says, after a discussion of the queen and her generals, mm. when she told the generals that, that when a powerful king enters a nation, okay. he destroys it, making the most respected of the nation into the, the lowest people. Because generals were saying, we shall fight. So the woman was giving guidance. Okay. And Allah says, That is how kings do. So oh. Allah was, was concretizing yeah. her guidance. Yeah, endorsing the guidance. Endos, endos, so meaning that women are very, very instrumental. Instrumental in a certain in leadership. In country leadership yes. But we had left them behind oh, yes. as the concern of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. The okay. youth. Okay. In Uganda today, and 70 percent almost 70 over 75 percent mm -hmm. are the young people young people yes now you, you cannot fail to provide for these young people true, and you true. convince us that uh, and actually when you look at our setup youth were left the, 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 the expired structure yes, the expired structure. structures mm -hmm. they are nowhere because mm -hmm. the consumer had not provided for them mm -hmm. i can say subconsciously mm -hmm. because the people who were a part of the Constantly the making, making then they mm. were largely young people. Mm. You know, these are things you can't you can't easily see mm. because we are not there. Yeah, by but then they were yes, young people. Yes. By then they were mm. because mm. Alimar Home Anas Kalisa was mm. part of that team. Okay, but when he passed on, he was around, around seven. Seven. So now, in, so you you you, you remove the thirty years. Yes. And he was about forty. He was about to, not forty. He was about thirty-five. Thirty-five years. The current second deputy moved of Uganda. Mm. Check Al He was Al part of the structure which wow. was in the constitution. Mm. So uh, he was largely thirty-two. Thirty-two years. So they were largely young people. So there was mm. no need mm. to, to to provide for the young people. Oh, they thought they they had. They everything. thought mm. since they are young, they are comfortable and everything <laughs> is going to be like that. But but you know, with time, mm. you become older and there is a gap. Mm, yes. So I think they were subconsciously they had omitted to mm. provide for the younger generation. Mm. But remember, when you look at the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, at his demise, at his death, uh, uh, he. Okay. Uh, for example, Usama mm. Tubun Zaid, at 17 years, he was mm. given command. Command. Okay. okay. He, was, he was the CDF or the army commander mm. today mm. of the then military of, of, of the Muslim state. Okay. 17 years. What so does young. It mean? So young. So it means youth are instrumental. Youth are very instrumental mm. in yes. any society. Mm. But the concern of Uganda Muslim. Okay. And, and therefore, that, that was also... Uh, briefly, how does this new constitution provide for women? Uh, you see, we, in, in the provisions, there will be general, I okay. not be specific. Mm -hmm. But there shall be a structure of women oh. from the mosque level mm -hmm. to national level. National level. Number two, you'll mm -hmm. be surprised and, and viewers outside. Mm -hmm. We provide for the director of Sharia. Women. Director of Sharia, mm. and we gave him two deputies. Mm, okay. And among the deputies, the deputy, one, one, one of them shall be a woman. Woman, wow. wow. Woman theologian okay. shall be one of okay. the deputies of Sharia. Actually, that is so key because most of some, some, some issues need women to women discussion. You know, Sharia mm. and, and Islamic law, when you understand it mm. and interpret it in its real meaning, mm. it doesn't leave anything behind. There are issues which must be dealt with by women. Women, yes. Okay, Actually, when, a ma when you intervene as a man, mm. you, you are, you are, you are, you are you going are, to compromise. You, you are not compromise. Mm. You are doing something haram. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so we had to think about providing mm. for Provide. them. Okay. Then, for example, the Secretary General of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council, mm. earlier on, mm. the provision was uh, he shall be a Ugandan. A Ugandan. But here we didn't Simple. say he. Mm. Hey. 
We said a he Ugandan. A Ugandan. Oh, we said a Ugandan. Oh, that's general now. That's general. Okay. Because you see, an SG is not a religious leader. Hey, he's a technical person. is a technical person. Mm, technical person. So uh, we have women who are, who are, who, who are formidable. Yes. yes. Who are grounded in they terms are qualified of, enough to handle in terms of administrative mm, training. Mm, mm. So, so we said, let us, let us leave it. If there is a woman who has shown competence, okay. if there is a woman who has portrayed charisma mm, mm, mm. with with, with, with all it needs to become okay. an SG, you can why, ask, why not? You can aspire and then... Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so it has provided for women I in terms that. of leadership, but also in terms of administration. You see, we only had one, one secretary, secretary for, for women, women affairs. The whole Uganda. Uh, Uganda. Just one, <laughs> the whole structure. I think she has done enough mm. and she has shown to be competent. Though there are other women like her True. whom True. we can tap into their uh, And even it creates a gap because we have very, our sisters are st studying day by day. Every exactly. Time. Okay. You know you have got, you have got IU, IU. Mm, true, true. I'm product of IU. We, actually the number of ladies is quite bigger. Bigger than the other yes, women. Even than Islamic call, when you look at the numbers of ladies. Yeah, it's quite bigger. Mm, but also mm. you have got Islamic University in Uganda, mm. female campus. Oh, Kaboja. Kaboja, university which is training women. The, the women. So, so you're, you're training them to go where? To go where? You if must you provide for them. Oh. You must create gaps for them. Okay. Uh, so these are things that have, have emerged mm. within the current setup of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council Constitution. Okay. Yeah. Mashallah. Uh, do you have specific thing for, for the youth on, or you're going to leave it at that? Yeah, yeah. We, our thinking mm. as, as the commission, mm. And, and from what we picked from the field, mm. there is an urge. Uh, there is an argument that why don't we have the young people mm. at executive level, whereby there is a special provision for the youth for a youth mm. at executive level, representation representing the young people. Because, like in Parliament of mm. Uganda, yeah, yeah, we have got a provision for, for youth, youth MPs, MPs, five yes. youth MPs, Mashallah. and one represents the the, the, the female. Okay. Agenda. Mm. So we need to have this one in our constitution. In our too. constitution, because you see, Nugrashid, uh, uh, mm. we, we are we are training a generation. True, true, true. The, there has been a thinking that Muslims are are not formidable in yeah, terms of yeah, yeah, actually, actually, they, they, we, we are being undermined sometimes, <laughs> like for that. And yeah. you see, it makes sense. Mm. It, the argument makes sense when we don't reflect that there is a training we are putting through true. our people. True. So this is time to prove. That mm. no, no, we have people who can offer service because I they have gone through this training. They are at this level in terms of strategic management. Okay. And if given responsibilities, they can able to execute. Okay. Now, people with disability, because when you look at our mosques, yes, most of the mosques don't have those provisions. Yes. How are you going to do it? Because if you're going to, if you have a provision for them, it's better you let us know. You see, uh, before a mosque is constructed. Mm. The, the management committee of the area mm. sits. Okay. And when they, are th when, when they are discussing, they might not quickly think about, think about the PWDs because yes. they are not part of them. Mm, mm, mm. But we are saying, can we have a PWD, a person with a disability, on the structure? In that when you are, you are talking about having a mosque, mm, mm, then, mm. then he, he can remind us that, you know, we need to provide for, 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 for a walkway. For Mm. or for a wheelchair, wheelchair of the PWD. Mm. Mm. For the ramp, something. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. But also, the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the government of Uganda has been quite generous mm. to mm. Every, uh, every class of people, mm. including the PWDs. Mm. And sometimes the, the, the... Okay. Now, when you don't know where they are mm. as the Muslim structure, True. when you don't have who can them Trust for you. Them, yeah, so when there is a government program, mm, mm. You, you don't benefit from it as the Muslim community and the PWD. Okay. So we are saying let's have them on board. On board. So they can now advocate benefit, yes. mm, for, mm. Their own, uh, uh, for their own good mm. in the Muslim structure, but also maybe tap into the, the, the government resources, mm, mm. the taxpayers' money. Okay. Yes. Um, Sheikh Kasim, there is a contentious article. Everyone is waiting to hear, or actually to, to you to talk about.
when you look at the the muftiship the leadership yes we, we, people are saying the muft changed the constitution because it is going to benefit him is it true which move changed the constitution is changing the constitution because that is in quotes you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the best guidance mm, mashallah he says in the Quran, Wala mm. taqfu ma laka Don't talk about something which you are not knowledgeable about. True, true. Now, when someone alleges that the Mufti has changed the constitution, true. then he's lying the nation. Mm, because mm. we were we tasked. True, true, true. As a commission, we were mm. tasked to move across the whole country, mm. get views of Muslims. Okay and guide the nation to what the Muslims are saying in terms of the new uh, 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 formation mm. that can guide them for the next many years. Mm -hmm. And, and w the 21 of us, none of us is a mufti. True, mashallah. True. We are ordinary Muslims. Mm -hmm. But also, this commission was, was recommended by the General Assembly. True. The true. General Assembly is, is, a, is a parliament of Muslims in Uganda. True. So I don't see where the Mufti comes in to change the constitution. M maybe, maybe they try to look at the position, maybe. No, no, you see, uh, my, my brother, when we are discussing issues of national importance, mm. let us detach offices from personality. MashaAllah. Uh, th that's why sometimes we, we bring you here so that you can give, draw, give that light and open up the eyes of those ones who might think that. We, we have, as the Muslim Ummah, mm. we have to ensure that mm. we detach personalities from offices. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. We detach personalities from policies. Mm, okay. And let us always look at institutions mashallah. as bigger entities than individuals. Mashallah. Because when I was born, mm. there was a mufti. Mm, 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 he's mm. no longer a mufti. True. Actually, he's not in the world. True, true. So therefore, we shall have a mufti true. after this mufti, and we shall have many more muftis. Okay. So let us discuss an office. Okay. Now, now let's look at the leadership. The leadership articles. How is how was it amended? How was it drafted now in the new constitution? Uh, I, I might not enter into details of of course we, it's a ninety one almost page okay. document. Mashallah. Which I might not have of head. Okay. Uh, but what I know is mm. that uh, we have capped. Mm. We have capped. Okay. Uh, uh, positions mm. in terms of age mm. and in terms of, of tenure. Oh, For example, mm. let's talk about the office of the Mufti. Mm -hmm. We said, and, 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 and of course from the new, the, the old constitution, true, true. there was no term limit for the Mufti. Okay. So the person who could become a Mufti at 40 years mm -hmm. and, go? and go until 70. Okay. Now, 30 years is quite too much. Because, you know, there are two things happen. One, people get fatigued. True, true, true. But also, uh, mistakes, mm. especially with the structure of Muslims, that is not so formidable. Mm, mm, mm. Where sometimes you find that you are a mufti and you have to engage in the management of the mosque affairs. True, true. So many mistakes crop up. Mm -hmm. So we said, let us cap the office of the Mufti, for example. Okay. That you can come in. Our suggestion had been earlier. Okay. It had been uh, 55. Mm. You come in at 55 years. 55. Mm. Then you exit at 80. Oh, okay. But we had said that when you come in at 55, mm. you serve for 10 years. Oh. So we had given a term of office mm. of, uh, of 10 years, one term of office, 10 years, non-renewable. Okay. But of course, from, the, from what I'm hearing, from mm. the new constitution, mm. it is 40 to 75. But okay. still, five-year term, mm. renewable ones. So you can see we, can, we have still uh, capped. Let's look at the, the previous one and the current one. Yes. How was the previous one? The previous one was 40 to 70. Mm -hmm. So when, when I come in at 40, mm. and Allah gives me life to you live until up to when I serve until when I'm... That is why we had uh, some time back there was a serious quarrel mm, mm. That, 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 that the current Mufti exits office. Oh. By law, mm. he could not exit true, because true. Mm. he was there legally. legally. Because his term of office was capped on age. 
an end. And he was not yet seven. Not term. No, not terms. Mm. But now we are saying you okay. can end at 40, mm -hmm. but you can also end at 75. So someone at 75 mm. can contest to be moved of Uganda, but will serve for two terms. Oh. Five years, five years out. Okay. Someone of 40 mm. can contest or can be elected as a moved of Uganda. Okay. But that person will only serve for five-year term renewable once. So when you enter at 40, mm. you can't go beyond 50. So you have to, from 40, you serve up to when you're 50? Up to 50, 50 then you, you are out. But then you serve from 40 up to 70. Okay. And now problems come in because you make mistakes along the way. Mm. People get fatigued and mm. fights. Mm. And, uh, they, 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 they come up. Okay. So for all other offices which are electable, mm. we capped them. Okay. We tied them to age. We tied them to tenure, and we tied them to academic qualifications. Wow. For example, we are saying uh -huh. that you can't be moved to Uganda unless you have got a master's in Sharia law, minimum. Minimum. Minimum Sharia. Okay, Mashallah, that masters. is good. And we are saying you must have a bachelor's in secular education. What are we looking at? We are looking at someone who is formidable. Formidable, yeah. I in terms see. of analyzing, mm in terms of decision making. Mm. The Mufti of Uganda sits on very many uh, uh, bodies. Co bodies, yes. And, and among them, for mm. example, is the Interreligious Council of Uganda, mm. Mm. where I got a chance to serve. To mm. you, are, you are debating with, with other formidable consolidated leaders, leaders at yes. that level. So we expect a competent Mufti. OK, that is level. That's level. Yes. Then we are, say, we are saying a member of the executive okay. of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council must be uh, uh, a graduate. Okay, that is a good one. <laughs> because you are, you are sitting at... Graduate in what? Secular? We say the graduate. Oh. Because our thinking is mm -hmm. whether you are graduate in such or whether you are graduate in... Uh, in uh, Islamic. Uh, Islamic Theology. studies. Mm. Let's say Islamic studies. Mm. You, you can sustain a debate. You can critically analyze. Mm, mm, mm. You can be of use in formulating a policy. So we are, we are not talking about the... Because you see, in 1986, okay. I can tell you, I don't think uh, uh, from our research, mm. we didn't have a professor. In our set? We didn't have. As oh. the Muslim community of Uganda, we didn't have a professor who? <laughs> because you see, young men of 32, mm. we are leading the, 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 the building of a constitution. True. A 32 year old in, uh, by then could mm. not be a professor. Actually, yes, yes. So we didn't have a professor. Mm. But today, people have gone to school. Yes, they have gone to school. There is UPE, there is USE. You have got a university which has got four branches. Mm. IU has got Kaboja, it has got Arua, it has got female. So you don't, have, you don't have a way out to discuss education. No excuse now. No excuse. So we are saying at least a bachelor's. To that level. Let's look at the leader who is coming from the grassroots. From the what grassroot, the, the minimum qualification is a senior four. Oh, so if you're going to be elected from our, our, our local most senior four and above, okay? Because what we are saying is if the LOC1 chairman mm. of the local government writes to you a letter, mm. why would you go to give it to your child to interpret for you? <laughs> because the, the son is, is a new SE. Yes. We are saying, before you go to your child, you can you first, first read it to read yourself? It to yourself? Mm. Mm. If it is confidential, it is confidential yes. you keep it. Mm. To be in public. So we have capped. Oh. Every leadership position which is electable mm. has been capped. To the level that we are even, we are even saying that a sheikh, mm. a sheikh, because the, the, the word is being misused. True, true. In, in our view, mm. and of course we know not everyone will be happy mm. with our position, but we are saying oh, the of course, Of course, <laughs> system, we must build a system. Exactly. Mm. So we are saying, who, who is a sheikh? That was part of our question. In the oh. question. Who is a sheikh? Okay. A sheikh is not about putting on a kanzu. And move the, around the, with the, one the, surah the, or two the, surahs. The two surahs <laughs> or, or speak, Arabic, speak broken, Arabic. broken Arabic. No, we are saying there has to be a standard measure. So what is the standard measure? Uh, 
We are saying if you are a graduate mm. of theology from any university in the world, in Uganda we need, we call it a Sheikh's Development Center. Sheikh's Development, as we have ROTC. Mm. Oh, you're developing a Sheikh Development Center. Exactly. Because this Sheikh is going to stand on a mimbari or in a parupi, mm -hmm. where you are speaking to professors, you are speaking to intellectuals, you are speaking to young boys who have been on WhatsApp and they have already too much. Actually, yes. So do you, do you move on there? We, we have checks on Google now, everyone yes. on YouTube. So we are saying this, everyone from all trainings in the world, mm. when it comes to Uganda, mm. let him be subjected to, to that molds you into the contemporary administration. Actually, administration was lacking. In, yes. Yes, in our system. You know, you know, if we don't be honest. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was lacking woman, because that's why you, sometimes you end up, they end up fighting each other. Well, if we are not honest, then mm. we shall have these other perennial problems. True. But if we say this is our standard, people will begin fighting the standard, but with the time, when the standard has, mm. Has, mm. has cemented itself, okay. you are either within the standard uh, or you are, you are out of the standard. True. And therefore, you don't qualify to be one. For example, we are talking, uh, we are talking about having the Catholic courts in Uganda. Mm. The, one of the, uh, of actually, the Catholic court. In, our, in my thinking and mm. in my knowledge, mm. is a level of a magistrate, magistrate court. court. yes. So how will a Kazi preside over a magistrate court when he doesn't, when he doesn't have qualifications, when Arabic language oh. qualifications? I, 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 Sheikh Kamgisa, this is a good, a good discussion, mashallah. But when I look at the time, it's against us. But let's look at the impact of this new constitution to our set. What could we look at? Yeah, in my view, mm -hmm. this constitution will have a positive impact. One, uh, it will provide, actually it will provide platforms for the mm -hmm. special interest groups, as we have seen before. Mm -hmm. Two, it will be a basis in a conflict resolution. True. Because we don't have a mechanism as Muslims mm -hmm. to manage our conflicts internally. Mm -hmm. That is why you would say Mufti in a court. True. Which, is, very which, which is very, very mm -hmm. ashamed in Ashamed, my view. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, all the other, whatever, they have got problems, mm. but they have got they internal, they have, they have a system. internal management mechanisms. Mm. I will give an example of FUFA. Mm. FUFA, the Federation of Uganda Football right. Association. Yes. In their provisions, you can't take a matter to court. They have all to matters have to be handled Actually, even in FIFA. Yes, they have yes. to be handled by the, 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 the tribunal. Mm, the, the tribunal must be a tribunal. Exactly. So you, you, you must have a tribunal also. Yeah, we must have a tribunal to handle, and mm. this constitution will provide one. Mm. Then, of course, one of the greatest problems we have had in the Muslim community is wrangles around property. Mm. Did you cap? Yes, we provided for the property management trust. Wow. A trust to manage the properties of the Muslims in the country. I, 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 one time I look at the membership of the, the trust. Community. Membership is very simple. Mm. Every region will bring a member or will suggest a member to be part of the trust. Now, how will you convince 10 members? to sign for selling off a, a property of Muslims. True, true. So, 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 so right, uh, right now, we had three, nine regions, now we're having ten? We have ten, because okay. Karamo, Teso and Karamoja was formed into a region. According to the new constitution? Yes, new constitution. Okay. So you, you, we shall be getting members from all these ten each, regions? Each region will provide a member, because we are talking about trust that will manage the properties of Muslims nationally. Okay. Then when you go to the region, you will have regional trust. Okay. So that we, 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 we avoid a uh, one man's trust whereby I'm the, I'm the, 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 the executive mm. of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. I have the seal of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. I'm the signatory of, of, of the properties. And so I have the leeway to, to carry out any transaction okay. without consulting anyone. We are saying this must stop. Okay. Our uh, properties must be there okay. for the future, for uh, eternity. Sh sh Ten years to come, inshallah, Insha they'll be discussing this constitution. Without doubt. But will you be proud to be part of it? Uh, depending on the discussion mm -hmm. in the future. If the discussion is positive, mm. I'll be very proud of it. Mashallah. But even if it is negative, I'll mm. still be very proud because you cannot disown. Okay. You can't disown what you were part of in building. Your last word to have was... Okay. <laughs> so you, you have to... To, to bear. My last word to okay. our viewers is uh, one, let us, by all standards, wherever we are, mm -hmm. 
whatever we believe in in terms of, of the groupings in Uganda, mm. let us embrace the new Uganda Muslim Supreme Council Constitution as our baby. Let us nurture this constitution into a formidable document that will provide guidance not only for us, but for our children and grandchildren in managing the affairs of Muslims. Okay. But also, let each one of us, every Muslim, mean Ali Sunnah al Jama. I call upon him to be part of the next Uganda Muslim Supreme Council structure elections. In that you join the structures, come and be part of the highest policy making level, and we collect the wrongs together mm. when we are part of the leadership. <laughs> not to quarrel from outside, because you will not change anything when you are outside. Sheikh, one message to the, to, to the people who are watching you from Nakawa, because at least you can't live without talking to Nakawa people. Yes, I, I, want. uh, I wanted to remain within the confines of, uh, okay. <laughs> but, but mm. uh, I'm very proud of Nakawa mm. as an area because it is now home out of home. Okay. And uh, I'm committed to serving the interests of the appointing authority mm. who is the head of. Now, thank you. Thank you so much for, for this grateful discussion, mashallah. Hopefully it was a positive and we shall live to tell that Sheikh Amgisha was here to give us the insight of the constitution. Inshallah, inshallah. Now, I want to thank everyone. Uh, uh, of course, I have to say salam mm. when I'm, we are winding up, <laughs> but also my wife, okay. my family, okay. and everyone who knows me, especially mm. from the people of the hills in Kabale. Very okay. proud of you. Mm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, I want to thank Sheikh Kamgisha for this wonderful discussion. We've been discussing the UMSC reviewed, actually according to the council, it is reviewed the constitution now, mashallah. Let's embrace it. It is ours. We must understand it. We must follow and must, it must be at the basis of our guidelines and principles, mashallah. I'm Rashid Chiwanaka. I want to thank the team behind the, the, the technical team, Farouk, Patrick, and the time, let's stay united, let's love our country. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much.